introduce um, Linda Morris, have her come back up here. She spoke earlier about the mind and the heart, and she's a great expert on the products, and she's going to share a little bit more about that. Put your hands together, Linda Morris. Mary Poppins listens. Mary Poppins listens. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I have a brainstorm Friday call. Actually, it's now turned into a Zoom because we found a lot of people from Canada cannot get on the calls. So uh, you're not going to see my face because I will have that uh, um, British thing happening. I may not have shaved yet. <laughs> I'm Friday. So um, Barb Satterwhite actually redrew my attention to a book that Julie Tara actually talked about last year, the PEMF. So let me just share a little bit from this, about this book. You probably know that food, water, sunlight, and oxygen are required for life, but there is a fifth element of health that is equally vital and often overlooked. The Earth's magnetic field and its corresponding PEMFs, pulsed electromagnetic fields. The two main components of Earth's PEMFs, the Schumann and geomagnetic frequencies, are so essential that NASA and the Russian space program equip their spacecrafts with devices that replicate these frequencies. These frequencies are absolutely necessary for the human body's circadian rhythms, energy production, and even keeping the body free from pain. But there is a big problem on planet Earth right now, rather a twofold problem as to why we are no longer getting these life-nurturing energies of the Earth. In this book, we'll explore the current problem and how the new science of PEMF therapy, a branch of energy medicine, based on modern quantum field theory, is the solution to this problem, with the many benefits listed below. Eliminate pain and inflammation naturally. Get deep, rejuvenating sleep. Increase your energy and vitality. Feel younger, stronger, and more flexible. Keep your bones strong and healthy. Help your body with healing and regeneration, improve circulation and heart health. Wow, how about that book, right? I must say, I still haven't read the book. And I don't need to. But you know what? That awareness that Barb saw at Satterway brought to my attention was the next page. I found a company that has a handheld pulsed electromagnetic field called the Kinko Touch. You know what? I didn't get it until Barb brought that awareness to me. A pulsed magnetic field. Now, for those of you that are worried about making medical claims, you'll notice I did not talk about the product first. I talked about that previous page. That's how you get around it legally. I, was, I found a company that actually has that product. And I have to say that I was not a fan of this product because of Dave Johnson changed my mind on that. Just last week, he said, you can hear the pulsing. Ah. Wow. You know, I've been hearing in St. Petersburg, Tampa Bay area about all of these mats that are $6,000 that people lay on for eight minutes twice a day. I go to those, I went to one seminar and there was 300 people in that room. I knew many of them that didn't have $6,000 that purchased these mats. And I was a little irritated sitting there. I'm like, it's something you use eight minutes twice a day. You still need healthy water. You still need a good, amazing night's sleep. You need good water to shower in. You need good, healthy nutrition. You need daytime products to keep you going when you're not in those eight minutes. Uh, you need products for the rest of your body, whatever might be going on. And you can get all of that from this company, Nikan, including this handheld pulse magnetic field. For This is $199. And you can take it anywhere. You can use it anywhere. And it's time we start using it. I started using it. I, I'm like, okay, so every time I hear that pulsing, I hear... It's a pulsed magnetic field. It's handheld. It's only 200 bucks. It's rechargeable with a USB. So I finally got, I got it. So I figured if I didn't get it, 
there's other people that didn't get it, okay? And uh, so every time you hear that pulse, it's a pulse magnetic field. How exciting is that? In fact, oh, do I need to do this myself? Okay. Oh, that's the wrong way. That's very cool. <laughs> I love and appreciate my wellness home every single day. The beauty of living in a wellness home is that it is always there when you need it. My lesson of 2017 is do not rush in the rain. If you rush in the rain, you might slip and fall on asphalt and it really, really, really hurts. You may not be able to walk for a week or two. You might have to use a cane. Um, this happened to me and uh, Actually, I or actually almost I uh, almost fainted. Um, almost my body almost like Oof, this is way too much. I got to leave, but I didn't. I got into my car. My uh, business partner. We were doing a live seminar at a doctor's office, and I was the office manager left, so I ended up having to lock up the back door and run around because it started raining, and I had this slip and fall. And I don't even know how I made it to my car in the front of the building because I have never been in that much agony. And I saw my partner across the parking lot, Lori, and she's a physician's assistant, and I can't walk that far. So I made it into my car somehow. I called her, and she drove over, and she's like, you're as white as a ghost. Are you okay? And she hadn't seen me walk, so she didn't know I wasn't really okay, but you know, oh, yeah, I think I'm okay. I, yeah, I, I fit, maybe. And I, I, get, I was driving home, I was about 15 minutes from home, I called my friend Heather, uh, she's a medical intuitive, she's one of my best friends, she's a naturopath, and she's like, you need to pull over. I'm like, no, I need to get home. And she, you need to pull over, I'm like, no, I have got to get home. So she talked to me all the way home. I got home, I couldn't get out of my car. I couldn't crawl, I couldn't walk. I made sounds I never heard before. I finally made it into my house, into the living room, and I sat on the couch. Oh, that really hurt. Maybe I need to get on the floor, oh, that's worse. Um, I actually then did go to a mirror that was in my kitchen to make sure I wasn't bleeding and nothing was sticking out. Because when you're in that much agony, you don't want to go to the ER. And I actually used a bar stool to get into my bedroom, stopped on the way to get my Kinko Therm long underwear, got into bed, and I called a friend. And I said, I need help. So she came right over, and I had to tell her where everything was in my house. Luckily, I knew where everything was, in my office mostly. She brought me three mag flexes because everything hurt on this right side. Uh, she got out the duct tape. She um, poured on the strips, one across, taped everywhere I was hurting. I was shaking. Couldn't stop shaking. Let's see. She went and got me J. Green signs and Siaga because that helps with trauma. I was on my sleep system, covered up, and I was still shaking. And my friend's like, you've got to stop shaking. I'm like, okay, well, the cocoon's in my living room under the table. She went and got it, unzipped it, put it on top of me. I wouldn't stop shaking. And I'm like, okay, so maybe I have to be inside of it. So we got me inside of it, and in 10 seconds, I stopped shaking. These are the products I use. Okay, I forget there's a camera. It doesn't have a light. I used to a red light. <laughs> um, you can see, well, I pretty much already said everything I had on. The back belt's great because you can stick the mag flexes around everywhere. But that cocoon, there is something magical about this cocoon. I, you know, it's all three of our vital technologies, but there's something about being inside of it. In fact, uh, I did have a muscle relaxer. I took it that night. Um, the next night, I didn't sleep in it. I thought, well, I'm on a sleep system. I don't need to be in a cocoon. I didn't sleep the next two nights. The third night, I was so uncomfortable. I mean, there was no position that's comfortable. I went to the couch, and I slept in my cocoon. I slept. I'm like, well, that's interesting. That's weird. The next night, I went back to my bed. I didn't sleep. The next day, I talk, told um, Heather. She's like, why aren't you sleeping in the cocoon? Well, because I have a sleep system. Why do I need to sleep in a cocoon? She's like, there's something magical about it. Just do it. And I did, and I slept. So uh, actually the day after this, I went to uh, the chiropractor's office. I fell in because that's what you're supposed to do when you fall in somebody's parking lot. And he's like, I don't think anything's broken. I was concerned that this wrist 
and a pelvis or a hip or something. And I know that generally it's three days before anything shows up, and I was told um, by a couple docs that no, I don't think you broke anything. But I went just because I needed that peace of mind. And um, I was using a cane. I ran into a couple friends and like, really? I'm like, yeah, really. And I kept going. So um, other products that I kept using, I used everything. In fact, I do have this on my YouTube channel. You know, the thing about KBB, when you can't move around much, you can eat in 10 seconds. You have nutrition that's feeding all the cells in your body. It doesn't take any time, it's always there. Oh, let's see, of course I, I used everything else. Um, <laughs> how could I not? So I was also very determined that in this process that this was not going to be a long-term thing, that I was not going to have any residual back issues. And at six weeks, I went back to try ballroom dancing and luckily went with my partner who's a professional. So he's very smooth and doesn't, um, not jerky and I could do everything but tango. That movement does not work when you've entered that part of your body. Um, at eight weeks, I was back at the dance parties. It's open to everyone, but it's still everyone that knows how to ballroom dance. But I was taping, duct tape, two or three strips every night and I continued to, uh, whenever I would go dance, I would uh, I just like, generally do at least one strip. And they actually carried the duct tape at the dance studio. And one night, uh, I hadn't put it on because I was feeling good. And then I saw one older gentleman that is kind of, he's pretty jerky in his movement. I'm like, oh, do you have any duct tape? I'm gonna need that tonight. Just because I wanted to pre prevent re-injuring myself. And that was back in, uh, I think that was June. I have no residual, I don't have a back flex on, I don't wear the duct tape there anymore. This, these products, if, if you're healthy, you need them because you never know when something happens. And it's nice to have everything. And you know, if you do hurt yourself, I, you know, I did go to the doctor and I actually, um, there's a man I date that's a doctor, so I called him. And he said, I don't believe you broke anything. You just took a really hard shock to your body. And I did, but the wellness home got me through it. And I'm so grateful. I cannot imagine life without a whole wellness home. And I promote it every day. Let's see, and I am. I am very grateful to Mr. Masuda's vision for better health for his family over 40 years ago and with his belief that maybe others would like to feel good too. I'm so grateful to, to Mr. Kurt Foley because he is always looking to improve our products and make them better. He always has our best interests in mind as he does this and he keeps improving and listening and bringing us these products that are life-changing. So I am very grateful for my wellness home and I'm grateful that, yeah, I don't, no more rushing, there'll be no more rushing. That's not, not my vocabulary anymore, especially in the rain. And um, on that other note, because my topic is, these are amazing products, I want to bring up Gary. Gary is on my, I have a Wednesday Zoom called this on products. So come on up, Gary. And Gary is one of those very healthy men. He didn't come broken to me, and he was already healthy. So you mind sharing your story? Gladly. Um, yes, I'm healthy. However, I was a passenger in a vehicle on um, Cape Cod. We were sideswiped by a truck uh, towing a backhoe, and I had severe um, back and neck injuries. Out of that, um, went through the whole medical process, etc. And I was just a hazard on the road thereafter driving. I couldn't turn to the left at all. Along comes Deacon and the sleep system, in particular the pillow and the mattress, and in no time I regained the range of motion that left me. Um, so that's one thing in terms of a powerful change in my life. I didn't care how it was made or where it was made or anything. It just, I needed it. For daytime energy, it was the, uh, the magnetic um, necklace. The other thing I want to mention to you is that I'm one of the members on the call on, um, on Wednesday when uh, the, 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 the call that, that Linda does started as a KDB call. And are you gonna talk about that more or not? Yeah. Okay, so uh, she does the call, it's a great call, and we learn um, certainly about KDB, but then she also weekly goes over different products. So it's a, it's a great um, 
uh, uh, product um, showcase. Then on Saturdays, we have Brainstorm Saturday. And, oh, sorry, Brainstorm Friday, Friday. So people from Winnipeg to St. Pete and all over the U.S. are on this call. There's a core of maybe 10 to 15 of us, well, people from Utah as well, of course. And it's a great um, brainstorming session, and it's all facilitated by, by Linda. And so she's got the info to share and how you two can connect. Thank you. Uh, the Friday call is never recorded because it may not always be politically correct. Um, we don't plan that, but uh, it's it's you know it's business, it's product, it's. Uh, I always ask if there's anybody that wants to uh, have help on the eating plan, what they need to do to tweak it to find out what's going on with them to see how we might be able to help them. So it is 8:30 Eastern. It's usually it's only a 30 minute call. Some people stay on longer. Mm. I'm <laughs> Steve Proka. I think I've seen a recording come for you. It was like two hours. <laughs> um, and it's there and it's available. So as I talk about the products, I am politically correct. A lot of the information I, I pull off of Niken's website. So I know I'm politically correct. They have an amazing blog that they send out. It's always in the bottom left corner where you can find it. Because we talk about it does not mean you need to know all this information. I learn every time I talk about a product because I don't know all this and I'm not analytical like I once was. And, but it is, you know, some people do need to know that and some of them I upload to YouTube. I know I get a little bit behind, but last week we did talk about the Kinko Touch because I realized if I didn't understand it, nobody else did. So I edited the uh, PowerPoint that Nikan had, added the other page that you already saw. Um, the week before I was talking about pet products. All of the products that you can actually use for your pets. I now have my 16 year old cat, Samba, that just went blind, which is very sad. I have her drinking uh, Jade Green Slimes, a teaspoon and a tablespoon of water every day with four treats. Without the treats, she won't eat it, but it's very fascinating. She then doesn't eat the treats. She only licks the green slimes up. But you know, her coat has gotten so, ow, it's, 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 it's quite the hot cat coat. You know? <laughs> um, but a lot of these things people don't really think about. You know, you use it for uh, you know um, people that might be having maybe a little blood sugar issue before they have dinner. Uh, I remember Glory Offerly always said, 30 minutes before a meal, you do a teaspoon of green zymes, and then they check and see where their level's at, and they may not need as much. Well, I thought about that because at one point I thought my cat might be having that same issue. So I started doing it for her two or you know a couple times a day. I'm like, okay, so you know vet bills are, are more expensive than uh, human bills at the, at the doctor's office, and we have all these amazing products. So that was another week. Um, you know, sometimes I'm looking to see, well, let's see what else can I talk about. I haven't talked about lately because we have amazing products, and sometimes some of them get lost. So it kind of brings it back to the forefront. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Or like the idea um, that the pedi pediatrician was talking about of using the uh, pillowcase for babies. I've also heard that with, with pets. Uh, you can, I mean, you can be so creative with everything that we have here. In fact, I went to a doctor's seminar three nights ago and he was talking about the, the horrors of black mold. And I'm like, oof, that was quite the eye-opening, scary, freaky out um, seminar. And I remember, um, well, you know, my business partner, I'm like so glad that I live in a wellness home and that I have an air system and that I don't, wow, well, you know, just to have all these products to help our bodies because life happens, the environment happens. I don't live in a bubble. I keep living my life, but it is sure nice to have everything I need whenever I do need it, wherever it might be. And I am forever grateful for these amazing products. And if there's anything that you haven't gotten, get it, try it, you'll like it. Thank you. Thank you, Linda.